our attitudes will determine the altitudes we get up to in life. Hi everybody, welcome to Wing Pillow Talk. It's Vivian. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about our attitudes in life and how our attitudes will get us to the altitudes that me and you want to move up to. You know, I read in the Manual of Life. I, I spoke about a gentleman called Joseph and how the family, he had a vision and the family were so jealous about it. The brothers were so jealous about him and they sold him. They wanted to kill him initially. They decided they sold him up for slavery. And he went to another nation. His attitude didn't change. And there he was being sold from one person to another. And he finally got into a military, a rich man's house. And there the wife wanted to have a relationship with him. But he turned her down. And she then made up a story. And the husband jailed Joseph. And his attitude didn't change. When I read that, I thought, I thought wow. <laughs> How many of us will go through that? Being accused for something you didn't do. And you didn't justify yourself. Or you didn't say anything about any other person. Or why. Or think no, he didn't. And that got me thinking how his attitude took him to the altitudes that we all strive to, to be, to become. You know, and it got me thinking as part of humanity, we all will go through trials as he did. We, we, we're always looking for the quick fixes. Oh, bless me, bless me, bless me. It doesn't come just like that. It comes with a lot of things that me, and you need to work on. Our attitude is one of them. You know, in life, I have come to appreciate and know that we all will go through trials. We we'll all will go through betrayals. We all will go through sickness. We all will go through bereavement. We all will go through lack at a certain point and at a certain stage. And our attitudes in that period will determine the altitudes we move up to in life. When I see how Joseph's attitude took him from the pit to the palace and becoming the second in command in a whole nation, I then started meditating on how I can change my attitude and how I see things and how I see people. I appreciate people more. I allow people to be who they want to be. Not because of what they're doing, but because of my attitude. When we all start to look into our attitudes, I always <laughs> look at my attitude as the paintbrush of life. You know, when you want to paint your house, you need a paintbrush to be able to do your painting and make it look beautiful. So our attitude is the paintbrush that people see will determine whether they, they do things with you or they don't do anything with you, you know. So when we change our attitudes, we change our life. Does that mean when you have a beautiful attitude, bad things wouldn't happen? Oh yes, bad things will happen. Look at Joseph. But then your attitude, how you handle it, will take you from the pit to the palace. So me and you, God sent us on earth for a purpose. How we then achieve that purpose is determined by you and me. Along the way, we will go and have trials and issues. Don't change your attitude because of issues, because of circumstances. Let your circumstances determine the attitude that you have so it can take you to the altitudes that me and you want to work into. And not only that, become a blessing to the next generation. We all need to dig deep to walk in better attitudes, to take us to our altitudes of life. Dig deep. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Play with us. Check our website, follow us on social media, and do not forget 
to like and subscribe.